There are not a lot of documents that provide information regarding the rest of the Signalis universe. However, one key document that does is honestly not very optimistic in its prospects. In today's video, we'll be covering the chaos and despair that is stated by the Dream Diary. Now, the flesh boil Lang may be the least of the civilians' problems within this doomed space. So let's start off with the first entry and just go through each of them and the war implications they all hold. Starting off with the sixth night, it states the following. I dreamt that I was an imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the red deserts of Kizyeth when a storm consumed us. Sand grinding us down till nothing remained. This entry details the imperial planet of Kizyeth detailing life as a farmer there, showing us that life for the civilians on this farm world is tough, with dangerous sandstorms that threaten to swoop in at any moment from the deserts and kill you from their sheer intensity. This also could suggest that climate forming on this planet is either incomplete or becoming undone following the death of the Empress really just the overall war occurring within the solar system. Next note, 13th night. I was a worker in the mines of Lang when I was consumed by a shapeless sea of flesh. My flesh joining with the flesh of many others until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh which persists after death. This note details what we see in S23 during the events of the game from the perspective of one of the crystal workers. This worker was consumed by the flesh below it informs us that this collective flesh at the bottom of Lang is actually made up of the minds and souls of all of those who succumb to it. The suggestion actually implies that anyone who died from the flesh and became one with it may actually still live on in a weird, sort of distorted way, implying that, in a way, Issa may still exist in a form following the end of the game. Sixteenth Night As a storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Vignetta, but I never reached the ocean floor below. I kept falling, when suddenly, lightning struck the building, and I woke up. This one details the dreamer on Vignetta, where they see the destroyed cities of humanity's past, and fall from a skyscraper. This is one of two entries that doesn't have the dreamer die from something in the dream, rather in this dream they are awoken by the lightning. Eighteenth night, I was floating in the sunless sea below Rotfront when I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core. This entry details the dreamer beneath the settlements on Rotfront and floating in the water that lays beneath this frozen surface. Here they saw a large creature beneath them that lay within the moon's dark core, which really suggests that another eldritch being akin to the flesh below most likely lives beneath the nation on Rotfront, which honestly is, is bad news. Nineteenth night, I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Bouillon. I was walking through the floating imperial palace when the gaze of the sunlight iris burned my body to ashes. This entry details the dreamer's final dream, and here they are on the capital of the empire, where they see an eldritch eye in the skies above the planet. Ultimately, the eye burns their body into ashes as they walked around the palace of the emperor. This is likely the same eye seen in the Lily Dash artifact ending, which is theorized to be the king in yellow suggesting that the King Yellow has a strong connection to Boyon and the Empire, which is something that people who have been following the King Yellow would know. In conclusion, these notes seem to strongly suggest that the Eldritch beings we see within the main game are really not just a Wang problem, but rather humanity is being closely watched by these ascendant beings, and that these beings could likely spell humanity's downfall in the near future if Wang is anything to use as a baseline. But with that covered, I've now covered the entirety of the Dreamer's Diary. This is a document I think foretells a quite grim future for the future of the Signalis universe. But, if you'd like to talk to other Signalis fans about the lore, or just in general, in my description I have my main Discord VSL linked. It's where I'll be discussing theories and lore regarding the rest of the game as we march forward, so hopefully, y'all swing over. Finally, once again, thank you to Mr. Skelly for supporting my membership. Your contributions help make videos like this possible. With that, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.